Hello dear Scorpio! This is monthly forecast for you for the month of April and I want to apologize one more time for last month's reading. It was so short for your sign. Please forgive me. It's not because I don't like you. Not, not because of this. I just didn't have time but it's unexcusable. So this time you are not the last sign who I'm doing the reading for <laughs> for April. I'm using three Terror, uh, three decks, tarot deck, Lenormand card and from Osha Zen uh, tarot advices for coupled and single people. Well, we'll start with an energy that's showing up. What are you coming with from month of March to month of April? And here, Knave of Swords appeared. Knave of Swords of course, it, for some of you, it can be just a child. Maybe you are lately, here in the last days of March, you're very busy with your child. Uh, something is going on and you're paying a lot of attention to him or her. Because it's page, it can be a girl or boy. Also, page of swords uh, can be uh, news or it's unexpected, or it's official, or it's unpleasant. Sometimes it can be that you uh, want to get some information, you're trying to get some information about something or somebody, like doing some research, or you have, like, you're ready to start something. You're looking for possibility to begin something new, and you are very ambitious. Because Page of Swords, yes, he's like that. I want to do it. I want to get it. For home and family, you've got the wheel. The wheel of life, wheel of fortune, cycles, changes, um, uh, sometimes unexpected events, some... Uh, uh, Circumstances that are surrounding us, something is coming together. Sometimes it's showing that maybe this month, April, you celebrate something like you're doing it every year. You know, like 15th of April, we're doing uh, together with the family, we're coming together and having barbecue or something like that. Maybe somebody in your family having. Uh, uh, birthday in April because uh, it's not you Scorpio who having birthday but it's uh, some some cycle and it has to do with a hierophant family structure marriage uh, um, also can be that unexpectedly someone told in the family that he or she is going to marry somebody or he or she is going to divorce also can be because it's a change of family structure what else can it be that someone uh, some of your family member is moving somewhere because will it's change movement and and it's within this structure, some kind of structure. Also tradition, change of tradition, big change. It's not like every month it's happening. For some people, maybe this uh, April, for some Scorpio, something really serious will be changing in your family structure, in the, in the traditions of your family. Maybe you always did something in the same w in particular way and uh, suddenly you're changing it for some reason. Probably there is a reason for that. For love and relationships, here is Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in this deck a little bit different. It looks a little bit like Six of uh, Pentacles in traditional deck. But it, she is not uh, having any Libra scales in her uh, hands. It's a young woman, young mother. She is carrying her baby and she has some bread uh, in this basket. 
and there was homeless poor man and she is giving to him bread just because she she's generous she wanna help somebody so it's a lot of I don't know the word if some of you can understand uh, in Russian we say altruism I don't know the word in English but it's like just because you have a big heart just because uh, you generous to people <clears throat> because down here under the seven of pentacles we have the stars and stars it's also light soul generosity uh, being friendly it's Aquarius card and Aquarius they won't save uh, normal Aquarius, typical Aquarius, they want to say, save the whole world, they want peace in the whole world, like make love, not war and stuff like that, it's <laughs> hippie stuff, it's more from from them and for them it's normal. This month, you, like you helping somebody because of your generosity, uh, or maybe someone need help. You see, you can see that someone need help and you helping this person for nothing just because you care about this person. It can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be your loved one, uh, anybody. You showing your generosity. But from Lenormand they showed the uh, clouds and clouds, it's some uncertainty, you know, it's when we can't understand somebody or something, it can be we can't, uh, we are uncertain about some situation, we worrying a little bit, uh, it's not everything, not everything is not so clear as we want them to be. Uh, like we see some light, but there is still some uh, something that is unknown for us. Uh, maybe it has nothing to do with this cards. Maybe it's about that. Maybe your nephew told you that he's gonna marry that girl, and you are like, I, I can't, I, I don't understand what he found in her, what he see in her. She's so. Uh, she's not pretty. <laughs> so anything like this, you know, anything of miss uh, of I don't understand something. You or you're uncertain about something or somebody, or something is bothering you, some situation you th you thinking about it. Maybe uh, last month something happened and you still because we don't know maybe it was this news of some kind you've got some news or you had some um, conflict with somebody and for you you still like thinking uh, continue to think what was it why this person uh, told me things like that and it's so complicated in general reading why you have some unclarity for coupled people, advice from Osha Zen, if you want to have more harmony in your life. Here we have five of water, it's um, boundaries to our past. It's not the correct translation, but uh, she, this girl, woman, instead of head, she has, she has some box with everything everything in it old memories worries disappointments um, uh, offense I don't know anything and everything clouds is very much about it because <clears throat> emotionally she is this woman on the picture she she is not she is restless I would say she is restless and if she would just throw these things from her head it will be like more peace in her heart maybe for some Scorpio <clears throat> maybe this situation this hope that you have maybe you're trying 
maybe to trying to help your partner with something and he or she doesn't react or act in the right way and you are you don't understand why and it's up you are upset about it you always overthinking a little bit and over feeling too much um, if you're uncertain and you can't find clarity it will be better if you will just have this light and nice hope in your heart instead of worrying otherwise it will you know it's not good when we worry then we can't live normal life well for single Scorpio you've got page of water and you see here's the bird like in the cage it's it's not a cage actually because there is the way out and there are other birds flying and flying in the sun they are completely free but <clears throat> why this bird is staying there maybe because um, it's not sure that it's good enough for its friends for others or why because it doesn't exist the cage it's not closed it's only fear that holding it bird back so you have to get rid from fears uh, complexes lack of self-esteem uh, worries that you are not good enough for somebody believe in yourself love yourself and release yourself set yourself free and communicate more because those birds they are flying not they're not just flying there they're communicating so release yourself then it will be much better because you have this light hope in inside your heart you know you're waiting for somebody you want relationships but then you have to set yourself free otherwise uh, how they will know that you are there of course we see the bird that flying like passing by and like calling come on with us but if you afraid to go out no one can can take you f out from this cage for work you've got funny cards Scorpio you've got the moon and the Sun night and day darkness and light well you know it's so interesting I think of course it can be many 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 things but for Scorpio who work with um, some let's say people's uh, soul psychic um, so psychologists, psychotherapists, painters, artists, uh, tarot readers as well, if you're doing some magic, it's a wonderful month, you will go deep somewhere uh, behind everything that we can see with our, with our eyes and it will be great experience for you. So, um, for others, maybe you have a great project, but you are, I don't know, a little bit unsure in yourself. You misunderstand something. Um, maybe you're too sensitive. This month also can be, by the way, in this car, you can be too sensitive. And um, from Lenormand, we have. Dear God, I can't pick the card. We have the ring. Uh, actually, it's some kind of contracts or obligations that we have in, or we have obligations for somebody or somebody has for us, or we have like both of us, we have it. So some kind of uh, uh, obligations, contracts, um, agreements, big deal and also it can be 
that hmm, maybe this month some Scorpio you working in the collective where so many different people and some and a lot of new people like new collective that's why maybe because this is also collective work the ring a uh, teamwork teamwork so uh, maybe this team where you're working in it's great but it's new for you and you are a little bit uh, scared you're unsure in yourself you're unsure in some people <laughs> like you're too sensitive <laughs> that's why you are like this but unfortunately of course it can be that there is some envy and gossip going on because someone is successful it's not so we can't exclude things like that but i think that everything will be fine by the end just don't get too um, scared don't be be more sure in yourself be more uh, now uh, we will come to advice I'll show you how you should be so <laughs> everything will be better than it can it could be well for finances ten of chalices it's wonderful uh, actually well they living quite well they have food they have kids they have each other they are happy so it's kind of fulfillment it's finances fulfillment pleasure feeling good feeling uh, successful and what is down here the world card some kind of completion uh, completion successful completion some kind of reward probably some of you you will be doing some creative work it's very big one it can those cards also for some scorpio can talk about a big success uh, recognition and you getting a reward for your great work but you will be very sensitive and nervous and stuff like that because or maybe it's just they showing the moon create your creativity your sensitivity so but uh, financially it looks good some people some Scorpio they will complete to pay the bank loan maybe it was a big one you were playing for quite a while and the, in the April you're finishing it uh, also it can be when you um, the, those cards that you are taking some money like you're taking a loan in April and you paying it back like a short short term loan I don't know if I'm correct in English like you're taking money borrowing some money and paying them back in the same month advice dear Scorpio for you from cards to manage whole month better I'll start with non-advice what is not recommended I know for what a sign for so sensitive people like you are emotional it's difficult um, what is uh, forbidden for you almost ace of cups being too emotional yes it's a beautiful card but being too emotional fantasize a lot expect something uh, some things to come into this cup like a gift from somewhere this is not recommended and really uh, like overreact emotionally on things it's not recommended this month because you see what you've got you've got astrological sign Aries you've got the Emperor Emperor it's someone who is very structured very logical very well organized very tough very serious really it's major gun it's serious one very responsible for his uh, actions he has a plan he has structure he control things uh, he follow his plan he is very passionate he has a lot of desire but not this emotional la 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 desire like this desire passion plus structure plus um, well organized person like regime you know almost like dictator <laughs> sometimes <laughs> emperor 
a little bit dictator but you have to organize everything and everybody and yourself in the first time very well then you can manage your things and be fair because uh, Emperor he is really fair he is strong he's so powerful but he feels his responsibility what he is doing why he is doing it and if he will do it wrong he knows that it's me it was my fault <laughs> but he almost uh, never making mistakes you have to you must try to be like this Emperor don't overflow all your emotions don't be over emotional don't overreact emotionally uh, on things try to see what's the logic of the situation uh, try to see facts and organize your time then you will be very successful Scorpio I'm wishing you a great month of April good luck and hope to see you next time bye